السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا Brothers and sisters, what I'm holding in my hand is a taweez. Okay, I'm holding this because I have been given it to uh, destroy it. Somebody has uh, given it to me, requesting that I uh, dispose of this uh, thing which is worn or it is carried uh, and people believe that it wards off evil or it brings prote uh, protection or that it is a source of blessings okay now the reason why I am showing you this video is so that we can um, see and we can understand the reality of these things which are very prevalent in our societies and concerning which the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that whoever uh, wears one of these then he has committed shirk with Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala it's shirk because this uh, this thing it cannot benefit you nor can it bring uh, any protection to you it's just uh, something like this okay now the first thing to note is that you can see the uh, level in which this type of thing is wrapped up okay and this particular one is wrapped up in cloth and you get others which are wrapped up in leather okay now the amazing thing is that people say this is just Quran okay um, and if it's just Quran as people claim then why are we finding that these things increasingly are becoming uh, more and more secure in their wrapping almost as if somebody doesn't want you to open them up okay so before I open up the taweez then I'm going to uh, make some adhkar أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة من كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة من كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة من كل شيطان وهامة ومن كل عين لامة أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامة من شر ما خلق بسم الله توكلت على الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله I'm in a state of wudu before uh, making this uh, or before turning the camera on then I uh, recited Ayat al-Kursi, Surat al-Ikhlas, Falaq al-Nas, seeking protection from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we begin with the name of Allah Jalla wa Ala, seeking refuge with, uh, with the shayat, with, from the shaytan first and foremost. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Then what we can do is we can begin to open this thing up. Okay? Now, you can't see it on... Perhaps um, I can show you, but this thing, it has been dipped in a particular fluid. Now, Allah Jalla wa Ala knows best what this fluid is. However, as I am, um, as I am uh, cutting this, I can see that the fluid is uh, seeping from the actual cloth. Um, and it's not unheard of for these types of things to be dipped in, uh, dipped in urine. Okay. Um, and so... I've got a pair of scissors in my hand um, and this water that you see in front of me I have recited over it and then I have uh, spittled into the water okay so the scissors are uh, not really working so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a blade uh, and try and open it like that and it's important when you are doing this that you are seeking uh, the assistance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, and so there is no harm in uh, repeatedly reciting Bismillah, uh, seeking the assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we are breaking the first layer, should we say. Um, and we have got through the first layer. And what do we find? There's another layer. Okay. There is another layer um, of this fabric, um, whatever it is, whatever it's been dipped in. You can see now on my fingers that my fingers are moist and there's a there's an oily uh, there's an oily uh, residue on my fingers okay so again seeking the assistance from Allah Bismillah Bismillah okay so where we are now 
is that we are beginning to uncover the thing which is inside okay um, and as I've mentioned you can see the residue on the tips of my fingers Bismillah okay so Alhamdulillah we have taken it out of its cover now what we find Ikhwan and this is very very common is a type of cling film type wrap uh, that the text or that the uh, paper is actually in Bismillah tawakkaltu ala Allah wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah so that's the first layer and I'm just taking all of this and I'm putting it into the water that's the outer outer layer and the inner layer is wrapped much much tighter okay but again Bismillah, seeking the assistance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can see on my finger there, I don't know if you can see, but there is, uh, uh, this thing has been dipped in some sort of fluid. Allah jalla wa ala knows best what it is, so I'm just going to cut that off. Bismillah, again, into the water it goes. Okay. And so, we open it up again. Okay, again, into the water it goes, Bismillah. Okay. So, finally, we are getting to the inside. Now look, Ikhwani, why is this wrapped up like this? You know, what's the purpose behind it? It's wrapped up as if there's a, a diamond in here, SubhanAllah. And the people, they rely on these things. And you know the person wearing this believes it's going to bring blessings. Maybe it's going to uh, cause his wife to get pregnant. Maybe it's going to protect him and his children from the shaitan. Maybe his, um, maybe his, uh, maybe his uh, business is going to get better. Okay. And so this is what we find uh, inside. Okay. So I've not seen this, of course. So you see on the top there, you've got the name. Fatima. Fatima is written there in the English language. Okay. And what you see is that the way that it has been folded is that I am now unraveling it. And you can see as I'm unraveling it, it's getting longer and longer and longer. Okay. So let's unravel this entire thing. Okay. Right. So this is what we have so far from within this taweez okay so I'm just going to open it up now because it opens up uh, and it opens out into of course a much bigger paper okay so this is what somebody believes is going to protect him or her. Okay, we see a paper at the top. We see the uh, we see the grids with numbers in there. Okay, and this is something which is very very common. Okay, very very common, and we find at the top there they've written. Uh, 786 uh, in the Arabic language and they believe that this means Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and in reality it doesn't mean anything of the sort it's just a collection of numbers okay and you find that they are calling upon or there are random names which are uh, mentioned here Basam and Mibal and all sorts of random names, Ikhwani, we find them written on this um, on this piece of paper. Now this person would have been told this is the Qur'an, you're wearing it, the Qur'an is Shifa, there's no harm that can come from the Book of Allah. This person would have been wearing this, believing that there is some benefit. Okay, so then what should we do now? Okay, I always say to people, look, we want to cut this down or we want to shred this down. 
okay so what I'm going to do and I hope that you all have the common sense to uh, understand that this is not going to bring you any benefit nor is it going to ward off any harm from you in any way shape or form then what should I do okay so as I am now reciting I'm going to say a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin arrahmanir rahim maliki yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdinas siratal mustaqim siratal ladhina an'amta alayhim ghayril maghdubi alayhim waladdallin I mean, and what I'm going to do is as I am reciting, I'm going to cut this up into lots of different pieces. Okay, lots and lots of little pieces and you can see them there taking shape. Okay, if I had a, um, if I had a shredder to hand now, I would shred all of this and then once it's all done, we're going to place it into the water. Okay, so let's do that now. And I will pause the video and we will uh, we will reconvene once that has all been done. So what we find, Ikhwan, um, Alhamdulillah, I've uh, recited, um, put, put everything into smaller uh, bits, cut, cut it all up. And then I've just left it in, in this water which I have recited over. Okay, I'm going to leave it to soak in this water for a, uh, for a period of time, um, probably about half an hour. Um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drain the water insha'Allah and then burn all of this rubbish. This was done for a couple um, who were having uh, problems in their marriage, arguing etc. And so um, the Bidzab, the Maulana, uh, wrote them this taweez um, and they thought that this was going to bring blessings in their marriage, keep them together. Um, Ikhwani, we need to wake up, brothers and sisters, we need to wake up, leave this shirk, leave this filth, leave this rubbish, come to Tawheed. It would have been sufficient for these people who, uh, you know, had this rubbish to trust in Allah and make dua and uh, come to Tawheed and come to the Sunnah and this would have been better for them. So I hope that you have found this useful. This is how to destroy an amulet. What I'm going to go and do, as I've mentioned, is then drain this water off after a while and burn all of this. Don't throw it down. The, don't just throw it away because if there is sihad and that type of thing, then we want to destroy it by the permission of Allah. Wa jazakumullahu khayra. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.